You know what? Y'all probably hear noise because I got the rudest neighbors ever. Ever. That is Francesca Williams. I'm a small business owner. I own a little media company. I have a photography studio in Logan Square, Chicago. And I, <laughs> my business, like, I won't say it flop, but um, it's going, it's going. It's not as flourishing as it would be because my business happened right at the end of this pandemic. So I'm making it work. I'm making it work the best way possible. So that's what this video today is about. Um, making things work. You gotta, you gotta learn how to get through the hard times. Well, talking about people who are just going through hard times right now, uh, that are small business owners. This particular video is for small business owners like myself. Um, I would like to put out some different resources as much as possible because, you know, that's the only thing. We fought hard to get our business. We put up a lot of money and stuff in our business. And this pandemic, <laughs> even though a lot of horrible stuff has happened, the one thing I refuse to let happen is to take down my business. I work too hard to get this. And it's just the beginning. It literally is just the beginning. So, um... There are so many different type of ways for other small business owners like myself to, you know, keep the ball rolling and keep the fight alive. You no, know, don't don't go without a fight <laughs> like Trump. <laughs> uh, no, not like Trump. Um, not like Trump. But it's different because we fought hard for this. He lost. You don't. Yeah, you gotta learn when to give up. But um, in this case. It's not the case. We're going to fight hard. So, all right. What I want to emphasize on talking about today is using what you have. You got to use them Ronnie Ho quotes. Use what you got to get what you want. Those are her Ho quotes, but that's facts. That's life. That helps you out tremendously. Being an entrepreneur, being a small business owner, being out here doing this stuff, taking that sacrifice, taking that risk. To make this happen for yourself, to make this happen for your family, to put out this, you know, amazing thing into the world, it's not for the weak. It's not for the fate of hearts at all. It, it's the real deal. You literally have to go through phone books. I went through a whole bunch of different type of websites. I searched different things on Google. You have to. I don't know if people still use phone books, but sometimes I see them around, I still use them. You got to call, 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 whether people hang up on you or not, because sometimes they don't even answer, thinking that you're spam. Spam is wrong in it for everybody. But you can also send emails. <laughs> I'm probably, you know, people unsubscribe to my emails and stuff all the time, but you got to put in that work. And it's a little more challenging doing this as a startup and a small, you know, entrepreneur via just the internet you know um i also have a lip gloss line so i had to go get some of my own lip gloss to let y'all know my lip gloss be popping <laughs> this is the strawberry flavor called Candace Kisses. I named it after my daughter. Okay, it's I named it after my daughter. So, because she helps me a lot. She's my inspiration. Inspiration. She's the light of my life. That's what I was talking about, though. So, as a small business owner, entrepreneur, okay, what resources do we have? There are, huh, it was help for us over the summer. I don't know if that's coming around again the second time around. I would like for that to happen, but we cannot depend on the government to help us. So we got to go into ways to do things ourselves. There are several different type of um, like community organizations, 
I don't know if the banks are helping so much. I will verify that for you guys. But I know that I have seen a couple of places that are helping small business loans um, with small business loans and grants. Grants are always better to get because you don't have to pay it back. But it's harder to get those as well because you don't have to pay them back. And um, you just got to make, make it happen as you do. So some of the things that I have done personally to keep myself afloat, um, I rent out my studio space to other photographers. I have a secure type of building. I have to be on the premises, but I um, I won't be in your way doing your thing. You know, I'm just not gonna leave it on my keys. But um, that's something, that's another way. I recently got approved on um, Pure Space. It's kind of like, um, mm, I'm trying to think. Of, I'm trying to think of something to compare it to. It's um, it's it's just a rental place. You can put your business on there if you have a location like I do. I have a studio, or if you have like a a little lounge or a bar or something like that. People, especially filmmakers right now, because a lot of people are still out there making their stuff happen. Especially like I was saying, what I would do is rent out a space to do commercial or product photography. Fiverr, um, <laughs> I have, you know, it takes a little uh, start with Fiverr. You have to be realistic with that. It doesn't, like, happen right away. You get people. You got to promote it, promote. Everything you do, you have to promote. You can't just, like, like, for example, YouTube. You can't just start a YouTube, like, I'm about to blow up, boom. And then you get like five views. It's not like that. You have to constantly, 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 constantly promote. And then some people, there are some people that are on YouTube saying, I did it without paying any ass. Good for you. Can you tell a real method how you did that? Because I haven't figured that out yet. So I use ads. But I get myself out there. You have to, people won't know about your business if they don't know you exist. That is so, you know, sometimes I badger people. I hope that I don't get blocked. <laughs> like, don't block me, please, please. I just want you to know that I'm just trying to, you know, let people know. Then I inbox people. I send them messages individually. So that's probably level of spamming. But on the social media sites, they only let you do so many people, you know. I got hundreds of friends, and I have to break it down by the days. And I can't do it all at once. I think they only let you do it like 50 at a time. That takes a while. But it's worth it for my company because it's what I love to do. You know, it's giving me that independent freedom. Um, you know, Corona, bogus as ever. But, you know, the Rona. Still got to make it happen, happen, happen as much as possible. When you stalk these people, <laughs> and it's, it's kind of what we're doing, it, but we, we're not going to call it stalking. We're going to it, call it falling up. <laughs> when you follow up with these people, you have to be, you know, somebody that they want to come back to again. If you a flake or if you do horrible garbage work, you know, they're not going to come back to you. Um, I try my best to do what um, clients may want me to do because when I edit the photos, I don't do editorial editing editing for the prices that I charge. Um, that is, is levels. You have to have levels in certain different type of clientele. It's just, you know, realistically do with your business. I kind of, I, I like doing sales, but sometimes some of the sales, like it really jit me because when you do super cheap sales, certain people come out, you know, the people are like, oh, man, yes. You know, and um, they're kind of destructive people. I'm not going to go into details or, you know, put anybody out there. But I do not like um, those type of situations. But when you do do a sale and you cut them off half price or you 60 70% off, something like that, make sure that it helps you reach your end goal. I'm going to do a sale. Um, for anyone who watches this video, it's going to be, you're going to exclusively know, but I'm going to be doing a, um, at the end of the month after your Black Black Friday sale again, because I did very good. I booked up 
the weekend that I did that sale for fifteen dollars. This sale won't be quite fifteen dollars, but it won't be super expensive either. Um, it'll still be in the the low range of what way low before you know what I'm actually charging. So I'm gonna put that sale out there and I'm gonna pass out flyers and stuff, let people know about that. But um. Yeah, this end of the year, I'm just trying to go hard and I'm going to just do a bunch of sales because we're doing another stay at home order. It's not mandatory this time around, but people are not going out unless they have to go out for work or essential needs. And um, I, I won't say people need it like family photography. That's an essential need. But I do feel like I am an essential need for certain other businesses because I can help you. Edit your videos, film your videos, so you can promote them at home, <laughs> you know, and I can edit them from home. It's just like a one day shoot, one and done type of thing. Maybe two days, depending on how many locations and stuff that you want. I space. I make sure I keep it sanitized. You know what? Y'all probably hear noise because I got the rudest with neighbors ever, ever. Dad been playing that since like 6 o'clock this morning. <sighs> Just because you're probably home from work if you even got a job doesn't mean that you got to have your music blasting all day. The walls are thin, but that ain't that thin. You got this blasting. But I can say they're not as bad as the old neighbors. <clears throat> so, I, I want y'all to hear this. I really hope y'all can hear that. I have a neighbor for the longest time I thought it was a homeless man that got into my building and was just screaming at the top of his lungs. But this is getting so frustrating and I don't know what to do, who or to report. I don't know if this man is in the house by himself or why is he screaming at the top of his lungs every fucking night. It's really getting on my nerves. This has been consistently going on for weeks at this point. And now he's consistently doing it every night. He's just screaming. Just screaming. I want y'all to hear it. I literally opened my window so y'all can hear it better. He does this for hours hours because the old neighbors was something else but as i digress <laughs> the struggle is real and you know we just all had to keep everybody in tune keep your hand sanitizer on deck i keep some with me i wash my hands i'm in the house but i just like having it in every room <laughs> so there's that um so please like subscribe and share please hit that subscribe button and then hit that little bell ding 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 so y'all can be updated on my videos because i'm staying more consistent <laughs> and once you know i get the chance i'm gonna i'm gonna put a little ad on this video I'm gonna make sure you see it whether you like it or not <laughs> But, um, no, it's not really like that. It's kind of forceful. But just know this information that I'm sharing could be useful to somebody. And, um, hopefully it is. Hopefully someone can, you know, use their resources or connect with somebody. Having a business is great for the most part. I love it. It's just, <laughs> just like in life, we all go through these different type of trials and tribulations and... Unfortunately, it's not always that great. But, oh, you can also check out my work and my website at www.fwmediallc.com. And if you're in the Chicago area, book with me. And if you're not in the Chicago area and you have a product, book with me. I can do the video for you. I can, I can hook you up. But on that note, I will see y'all next time. Also... <laughs> I'm gonna this is my video this is my channel I'm gonna do all these little promos I'm gonna put 
all my stuff in there. And one of the things I'm putting there is my lip gloss line. Look, I told y'all, I told you that I named it after my daughter. And, um, you know, my daughter and my little cousins, I'm not a child labor worker. They get paid or whatever, and they don't get worked that hard, but they're, they earn their little pennies. And, you know, I, every lip gloss I sell helps them with a job. They keep getting a job because I sell lip gloss. I took a lot of breaks, y'all. This is going to be a nice long video. Um, get some, get some watch time on this. Anyway, um, hmm. What I was saying was, yeah, check out my website. Purchase some lip gloss. Um, yeah, it's only seven fifty. There's gonna be a sale on this too. Black Friday coming up next week. Is it next week? Yes, it is next week. <laughs> I had to make sure because um. I don't know days are blending together I don't know anymore but yes yes check out my channel yes oh I also have a vlog yeah I do a lot of stuff I make things happen as much as possible um yeah so I have a blog I do YouTube I have a business where I do photography and videography and I make lip gloss <laughs> I also make custom shirts. I'm not like a fashion designer, but I can get you a nice sweater, nice hoodie, nice shirts, good quality, and put your logo on it or whatever you like, you know. 